Hi, this is Anne with an anagram on adding behavior to objects with functions, which become methods when they're a property of, a fun of an object, and on um, what the this keyword is used for inside those methods. Uh, I'm going to do this um, right in the console live so that you can see how simple it is and, and we get kind of immediate feedback. Um, I'm on everybody's favorite Google page in Firefox Developer today. And if I inspect and open up my console window, I have a place where I can type JavaScript code, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to create a super simple object. Um, this is a version of the point that we use um, in some of our drawing code to locate objects on the canvas. Um, here, I'm just going to use it as, as the world's most simple um, object I can come up with. So I'm going to create an object, P1, and it's going to give it an X and a Y coordinate. Okay, so curly bracket, X, set that to any number, 100 maybe, Y, set that to 200. And if I were going to use that in drawing on the canvas, that would locate my object at at um, x coordinate 100, y coordinate 200. But right now, the only thing we're doing is using that as, um, as a super simple object to show you how various things work. Now, um, we don't usually give the console logger nearly enough credit. Um, if I ask to console log that object, I get really, really rather decent output. Um, it tells me it's an object and I see all of the properties. Um, but as some of you discovered when you were trying to label an object on output, if you concatenate that object to a string, the console logger has no choice but to try to translate it into a string. So let me show you what happens. Um, so I'm gonna put the label point on this and add P1 to it. And kind of what I expect is to see some version of what's up here on this line with the label point in front of it. But in fact, that's not what happens. Um, what I get is the value of a method that actually already belongs to point. Now you'll note, we didn't define a method up here, but by its very nature, um, every object inherits certain properties from a base object called object. And one of the properties that gets inherited is that every object has a default to string method. So um, I can actually call this directly. And if I do, I see that the output of the to string method on my P1 point is exactly what got printed up here. Now, that doesn't seem very useful, but frankly, having something that works is better than having um, no object and having this code crash when we need a string to concatenate to the label. So, um, so good for JavaScript, right? Um, what I'd like to do next, though, is change the behavior of this function. Um, it's a method because it is a function which is a property that belongs to a, an object. And because it is a property, that means that I can change it. So if I want to have my P1, my points to string method work differently, all I have to do is assign it a new value, which is a new function which I can code up here on the fly. And all I do here is I'm going to give, um, I'm going to have two labeled, two labeled values, the X value. and the Y value. And I'm going to explain this here in a minute. It's hard for me to explain things and type at the same time. So first I'm going to get this typed and we're going to verify that it runs and then we're going to talk about what this is doing in here. Um, 
Okay, so I've just concatenated a string that has two string literals and is adding in two numeric values, which will all add up to a, as we know from our concatenation exercises, it'll all add up to a string. And this function, what it needs to do next is return result to the caller. And we need a curly bracket to close that. Now, I've now defined a new to, new to string, and if I call it, I get this nicely labeled output as opposed to um, object object. And if I concatenate it to a string, I get a labeled string. And um, the real question is, so that's a good thing. And one of the things we're going to do with most of the objects we create is we're going to give them a two string method so we can control what we see uh, when we go to print them in the console. You know, I like people to be console logging. And it's hard to console log and get much out of it if the only thing you see is object object. So one of the things I'm going to be asking you to do for pretty much any object we create is create your own version of the two string method. So let's talk about what's going on right here. Um, clearly, the people who came up with this as the thing that indicates the object I happen to be inside of uh, weren't thinking about saying this code out loud. And so my suggestion to you is that when you read this, you say my, okay? So we have a function that belongs to an object. And what we're doing here is we're concatenating a couple of different strings to my, meaning my objects, my objects X and my objects Y. And I think if you say my or my object when you read this, this is less confusing. So what this does is it takes the label x, concatenates my object's x value, the label y, and my object's y value. And that's all that this is doing in here. We've dealt with global variables, we've dealt with local variables, and now we're dealing with in object variables or properties. And in order to access the property of an object from a function that belongs to the object, you have to use the this notation. Just as if I'm outside the object and I want to see the value of x, I can simply type p1.x. I can't type this.x because there is no x wherever I happen to be here, only inside of a function that belongs to an object that has an x property, does this dot x make any sense? I hope that helps.